I mean, in this reality, right, we're, we're sitting here eating whatever bullshit cold fries, right? <laughs> but in another timeline, I'm like, I'm like a billionaire. There's two things. There's what story are you telling, and there's how are you telling it. Or homeless. And everyone sort of takes this one for granted, right? You start in the beginning, you go to the middle, you go to the end. Or married in the suburbs with like 2.3 kids. But how you tell a story, the structure of it, for me is just as important, if not more important in some ways than the story that you're telling. Like a tree grown branches, and each branch is like an alternate timeline. Beware of ideas that are not your own. Much in the way we explored memory in the first season, we're now exploring dream. The line between reality and dream has vanished. Having an unreliable narrator, having flashbacks and forwards and dream sequences and things like that helps you as the viewer to identify with the experience. It gives you the ability to, to enter that world and experience what the character is experiencing. Let's explore these ideas. Let's explore mental illness. Am I losing my mind? What is a delusion, right? How does a delusion take hold? How does it thrive? And so outside the narrative of the show, we're playing with these ideas to help inform the, the story that you're watching. We're in a lot of mental spaces that are not physically real. We're doing these white space sequences. We're doing these black space sequences. We have no context for suddenly being in this white space narrating to us about what is a delusion. It's like any other idea, it starts as an egg and you see these two eggs and one hatches and a healthy chick comes out and the other hatches and something ugly and demented comes out. It's sort of more of an essay in a way of saying like, well, yeah, let's, let's tell the story, but then we can also jump outside the story and give you context and put ideas into your head. Flashbacks and alternate realities is all in service of what is it like to be David Haller. We're navigating this world through the character rather than just observing it from afar. Every event, the things we do, there's like a million possible outcomes. Choices, choices. If you want to play more with theme. Every time each me makes a decision, another branch springs up, and that branch makes branches, and that branch makes branches, and that branch makes branches. If you want to play more with character or structure. I can read your mind, Laura. It's a lot of branches. <laughs> then it becomes something that elevates the show or enriches the show. Uh, uh, Stop it! The emotional roller coaster. Stop it! Take you on these rails on this on this trip. No! Well, what if you take the roller coaster off the rails? It's not just I can't believe the character just did that. You're saying I can't believe the show just did that. That's what Legion's all about, really. He's sort of hopping between these these layers of, of reality and, and layers of mind realms popping up within the astral plane and within the real world. Even if you don't understand it, you feel it first. And it's such an adventure, such a crazy, beautiful adventure. Like you said, reality's a choice.